Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's October. We are the Octobers, and now we can officially wake up Green Day. Because <laughs> that's September ended, you know? But anyways, uh, I've been waiting to say that for so long on this channel. Every guys. October I have no idea. first, right? You just want to say it? Well, I missed it last year, and I was like, damn it, I have to remember. So I set a little timer in my phone and spinning that thing for a whole year. I'm so cringy. Anyways, uh, guys, let us know in the comment section what are your favorite scary movies, because it is October, and we're the Octobers after all. And what's if you're your favorite here, Green Day song? <laughs> October so we want to knock out a lot of scary movies this season there's a lot of classics and stuff that we haven't seen so put them in the comment section so we'll know which ones to put on our patreon polls and go hit us up on patreon if you guys want to participate in those polls let's go I'm ready to watch the boys me too to circle back around so while we're here yeah after all, so <laughs> the boy uh, thank you guys for rocking with us for sure I'm this show gives me a little clump in my neck when I'm watching it. <laughs> it's definitely one of the most disturbing things I've seen right 100%, it's, so. it's wild this is a must-see TV guys let's <laughs> yeah go. let's go What's the rating of this? It's at gov <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> Heck yeah. La, 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 la. I didn't think those two were the same two songs. I don't think it is. <laughs> hey, yo. How long are we going to be sulking about like some poncy eyeline wearing emo twang? <laughs> <laughs> like Green Day. Right, look, I lost me bottle a little bit when I pumped you one. So, um, he lost his bottle a little bit. <laughs> sorry? Yeah, I said it. We all got them trolling Green Day. They got some bangers back then. <laughs> 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 Kid stop raving. No, 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 no. Kid stop raving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Because the way they handle stuff, they just wild. What's the ETA? A team's on the way. They'll be there in a few hours. A few hours? I'm a civilian. I can't just push a button anymore. The target's secure. No one's seen him. We're three miles offshore, Grace. What do you think? Look, I just want me wife back. <laughs> I know. No. Bring Langley the terrorist and you'll have her. Oh, there you go. You ever hear of an old soup called Liberty? Is that going to do anything? I'm not sure yet. How's your crew holding up? Yeah, all good. Uh, we are having a few laughs here. The target is the girl's brother? Yes, sir. You don't think it compromises her allegiances? If it comes to that, I'll neutralize her. The compassion you show your team is truly touching. <laughs> How dare him? <laughs> yeah. It's just a figure of speech, mate. Himiko said what? <laughs> You'll neutralize who? <laughs> Every time I remember he was in Lord of the Rings, I chuckle a little bit. I'd be mad they didn't just at least tie me to the damn bed. <laughs> they could nap on it. <laughs> right. Maybe because he looks like a Cowboys fan. Cowboys <laughs> No. Well, she's got Frenchie now. <laughs> this what is this? I'm gonna have to download this. Of course, A Train's bopping it at the club. <laughs> I'm just still confused by him because I would not be going anywhere slow. I'd be running. 
be like, Forrest Gump. I was running. <laughs> no, it can't because look. Oh, his Maybe he's withdrawing. Breakfast is served. Mm. Do you want one or two, buddy? Just one. Yeah, just one. You want maple syrup? Um. Yes, please. He's so annoying. <laughs> no more. But mm. Becca whipped it Thank up. You. Love it. This is nice. Uh, Mama? Yeah. Kiero Raisin Brand? Si. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That? That's he Spanish. Spanish. You don't Monday like the Spanish. Monday morning is breakfast in Espanol. Hey, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you want to stay in here and learn Spanish? Or you want to come outside and have some fun with your old man, huh? Mom, is it okay if I go with him? Yeah, of course it's okay, right, Mom? Come on. Sure. I'm all for teaching Spanish. Mm -hmm. You better know how to cut the chair. grass. On Monday mornings, they do it. <laughs> That's what she said. That was so cute, honestly. Okay, we pan up. We see Homelander flying towards Martinez's Miami mansion, and Martinez makes a run for it. Octavio, vamonos, vamonos, mi amigo. Octavio accelerates, but Homelander laser blasts out the tires. Boom. Boom. Martinez gets out of the car, dazed, looks up. Homelander, you're under arrest. Slaps the handcuffs on Martinez. The cops take him away. Homelander turns to the other heroes. We should work together more often. You mean like a team up? <laughs> exactly. All seven of us. Holy shit. They're trying to make the Avengers low key. <laughs> he thinks he's brilliant. That is the moment the seven became the seven. The seven. <laughs> Rousing music. Con Zimmer. <laughs> Title card Dawn of the Seven. Con Zimmer. <laughs> Interstellar. <laughs> She's all for it. That is amazing. Thank you. Wow. I am very impressed. And gang, that's just the teaser. Look, this is... You look like shit. Yes. 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 Big night. <laughs> and I want to shoot the whole thing handheld, right? I want to take the audience and literally put them, boom, right there in the action. But what's the plan on Translucent? We're going to take a stuntman, put him in a jumpsuit, and just CG him out. And <laughs> I don't want to jinx this, but Lin-Manuel Miranda wants to do the voice. I the world yeah. loves Hamilton. I'm sorry to interrupt no, of this course. love fest. I just want to be a part of it. Understood. Um, this, oh, great work. Thank you so the much. The script is a great start. Really good bones. I just have a few headlines. Yeah, totally. Listen, we can tweak dialogue right up to the day of production. It's not really tweaks. It's more global. OK, yeah. What are we um, thinking? You write all women as either unknowable Hitchcock bitches or Michael Bay dolls. I mean, I get that a lifetime of jerking off to Transformers didn't exactly make you popular with the ladies, but um, a little effort would be nice. You know what I'm saying? Um, excuse me, <laughs> but I do have two sisters. Thank you very much. <laughs> excuse me. You just had to add that in there. Really loves this script. Yes. So. Oh, OK. Where is he? <laughs> Ashley? Um, OK. Uh -oh. Okay, uh, just, you know, continue doing what you're doing. Um, I have a, a noon. Can someone open this, please? So Homelander usually has okay. control of the exit. I got a few more headlines. Dang. <laughs> Mr. Edgar? Sir, if this is all true, I will get a strategy together with crisis management and PR. We're fine for now, Ashley. Sir, is it true? We're what investigating. Sir, I have to tell you something. We have to tell Homelander. You I mean... don't have the faintest idea where Homelander is. He will know when I want him to know. Mm. Well, he's not smug and arrogant, is he? Superheroes are not born, but made. In fact, created mm. by a chemical serum mm -hmm. compound V, produced and administered by Vought International, the <laughs> company that has been the corporate face of superheroes for decades. Now, we don't know what the what actually came from. What did you do? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. I saw you with the V in your hand. And you let me walk away with it. So, this is kind of on you two. If I go down, you come with me. Pretty sure they'd kill us both. You don't get it. We're gonna lose everything. I mean, cars, houses. There are more important things. You know the only people that say that? People who grew up with money? Our very own reporting suggests the parents also received a very generous payment. Now, after Starting the when I was nine. Were treated with compound v, they were then I was at the mall. This is a crazy ass development, is it not? I'm just. He passed the pet store and I heard the goldfish. 
begging for their lives. They were begging. That would suck. I would have to free them. You would. And after that, I... You definitely would. The beach, the aquarium, red lobster. <laughs> God. I thought I was going crazy. So my mom said it was a gift. That I was born this way, but it wasn't. So he just found out today it didn't from the have news. To be this way. Oh my gosh. Powers can cause fear and anxiety in the affected children if they are not carefully guided through the process. So far, Vaught has refused to release a statement. Closed accident. Uh, hey, paralyzed. call me. Call me back when you get a chance. Did what? Huge trend that could be potentially catastrophic to Vaught's bottom line. This news comes. Did this? Uh, yeah. Starlight did mostly. I just gave her an old alley oop. <laughs> 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 yeah, but that's bad too. Though. Well, I think it's great, but this corporation ain't about to just go down. They're gonna go down fighting. Oh shit! Oh, is this French? No, 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 no. A French kiss. Oh, oh, <laughs> Lucy, mother's milk. That's all you got? We've been trying to do this shit for years. Vaught's finally going down. The kid did it, and nice one. <laughs> all right, real nice one. You can't even give me this, can you? Not about that. Not one goddamn win. I'll tell you what. When we're all done here, I'll buy you a nice big family sized bottle of top shelf lube. And I'll tickle your balls till you think <laughs> you stop. And even then, I won't. I just won't do it. But right now, we got a super terrorist <laughs> below deck. And shit can go sideways just like. So, all of you, keep your eyes on the ball. Yeah? Yeah, because as soon as Vault realizes they're no longer in the good graces of the public, then the public becomes the enemy and they got superheroes. You might have just started right. a war. But it's also not like everyone can just get Compound V. They're going to, they can make great. it like, they can profit it. Yeah. Isn't this great? Yeah. <laughs> Mom ever bring you up here? No. No. Nah. Of course not. See, that is why a boy needs his father. Hey, I think it's time. Yeah. You ready? Um ready for what oh sh snap to jump. <laughs> oh no what if he's not wait you can't be serious i'm not gonna jump ryan you're my son you can fly on a mountaintop Just like <laughs> i thought they were too i didn't think they were on a roof or anything i don't want to <laughs> so, guys i'm so sorry so when he said does your mom ever bring you up here and he goes no, it's because <laughs> I thought it was because he brought him somewhere so ridiculous, yeah. but it turns out it's just on the roof. It's like, why? Yeah, why would Have Becca you ever take our kids on the roof? <laughs> no. Well, thank you. It's hard to get down from the roof. You don't know what you're doing. Step off and your body will just do the rest. It'll just take over. I can't fly. I'll just fall right off of here. Hey, 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 buddy, you're going to love it. I promise. Nothing like you. I, I can't fly. You can. you can. I promise you can. Dad, please. Oh. oh no. Buddy. You gonna throw one my bet. You called me dad. <laughs> Dude. Ryan. God. Ryan! Hey! 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 What did you do? It's fine. It's a 20 foot drop, relax. Inhuman monster, come here. Don't help him Can up, you... let him do it himself. Hey, hey Ryan, I need so you to crazy. wake up. Baby, can you hear me? I'm right here. She's handling it well, he's though. Fine. I'm trying he's to breathing. kill him. I don't think he's... Huh? Look, I... see, told you. Are you hurt? Does anything feel broken? For God's sake, broken? Come on, look at him. There's not a scratch oh, on him. You know why? Because he's my son. And you, you you're raising him to be a... You don't get to tell me how to raise my son. I'm his father. You don't get to say that after what you did. What I did okay. to you was give you a son that you are raising like a little girl. Let go of me. He's mine. Uh oh. Get your hands off of her! Look at him. He's probably gonna love that. Bro, the show is getting wild, dude. Good boy. <laughs> See, I told you. You're just like me, Ryan. No, I'm not like you. I'm nothing like you. I'm famous alone. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm not angry. Ryan. Just go away. Ryan, this is a good thing. 
Okay, so I remember his eyes turning red when they first saw each other, but dude, I didn't really know what his abilities were. You know what I mean? I don't know him either. I thought he just killed him because this show's shocking in that mm -hmm. way. I thought he just pushed him right off the roof. <laughs> I'm about to say, damn, this home Lannister. <laughs> For <laughs> real. Lannister over here. <laughs> These are horrible <laughs> powder cheese things, but uh, if you're hungry. And she's going to give him acid reflux. Thank you. So you do speak English. That's probably all I need to know. Thirsty. A Red Bull? Is that a damn Red Bull? Mm -hmm. Give my heart attack. You know, the way you talk with your sister, it's no sign language I ever seen. I can help her. You understand? The night our parents were murdered, Kimiko just stopped talking. She's never made a sound since. Mm. In the camp, we were on week after week. We came up with a language How'd that language that shit? saved us. Well, that was really smart, actually. Will you teach me? Oh, he wants to be able to talk. Please. You. I think your sister is very special. And she loves you very much. Can you move metal? You wiggled a little <laughs> hole. <laughs> but how did they discover duct tape work? You gotta make a weapon and open it up. I don't know anything about this compound V monkey business. If someone gave it to my little maid. You were the Taco Bell? I sure as hell didn't know. He didn't, didn't, didn't know. I remember this one weekend where he made me do three mall appearances and a photo shoot for Teen Vogue, all to get the cash for my braces, which he then blew oh, the five dollar table at the <laughs> circus so circus. Maybe this is what we've been waiting for. What do you mean? They've lied to you from the beginning, all of them. You don't owe them anything. Maybe this is our chance to leave while we can. Elena. If we do that, you know what'll happen. I'll call you <laughs> back. <laughs> not uh, interrupting, am I? No, of course not. Great. It's funny, you know, uh, of all the people here, I've known you the longest. That's up. Sometimes it uh, just seems like you're the only person I can lean on. I feel the same way. <laughs> you do? Of course. <sighs> you. Life, huh? <sighs> Crazy. Oh, God. What's he about to say? <laughs> Who's Elena? Elena's an old friend. Since when do you have friends? I was just venting about all this bullshit. What bullshit? What you haven't heard? Where have you been? And guys, I do want to say, every time I get on YouTube, there is a... His name's... Pa what's his name? <laughs> Anthony Starr? What's his name? That guy's name. Home Wonder. Did you York. just call him Patrick Starr? Not Patrick Starr. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, every time I get on YouTube, bro, there's an advertisement for this dude playing some video game with his eyes lighting up red. You guys have seen it, I'm sure. What? Yeah. This is the NYPD. This boat we report. I thought you said this boat belongs to a friend. Don't you need to check some paperwork is. first before you call you're under arrest? Yet. This up, thoughts almost toast, we're almost home free. Ahoy, gents. I am the captain of my big wet dream. I'm holding papers for the lease of this vessel. Kind of mess around this. Look out! <laughs> Get his hand! <laughs> Can't he just move the helicopter? Yeah. Yeah, he plays so nice. Wait, what are you doing? We gotta help him. Trust me, they're already dead. Damn, you didn't sign up for all that, dude. <laughs> no. Is he gonna jump off? If he's dumb. Oh, he flew. He threw them a float. What? I wasn't the one who f***ed that up. I know how you feel. I'm a freak too. Oh, you shoot a bow and arrow. I'm amphibious. Okay, just, just give me the phone. Why does this guy want to help him so bad, call. though? Postmating Papa John's isn't going to help. Because he's How spiritually you know awakened and all that. You don't know anything about me. Let's just recite the 15 tenets together. No, f I'm hungry. Deep, it's time. Time for what? For you. It's your time to get back into the seven. What? This came from Alistair himself. Who? Alistair Donnelly. The leader of the church. He sits in the first chair. Guys, 
With everything going on, I just, I don't think I can do it right now. No, Deep, this is your journey. You're ready. You have been ready all along. Now get out there and be a hero. Is she supposed to be like Aunt May or something? I don't know who My dad always used to say- She's just a shaman or something. So Vought lied to us about Compound V. What else are they lying to us about? The We're down 68% in morning. Jesus, what about the pharmaceuticals? Investor lawsuits, breach of fiduciary duty, non-disclosure. We have exposure for fraud, assault, affliction of bodily harm, no coverage. We have two options. Option one, deny. High risk, high reward. But if we deny, <laughs> and they nail us? If there's a legit whistleblower, there's no coming back. 10 to 15 for everyone in this room. Option two, may I call pup. Stan, we gotta put out a statement. Which one is it? Stan. His mind's working right there. Mm -hmm. He's gonna have something clever, right? He called everybody in the room infants. Mm -hmm. So he better have something good. Where the hell are your mates? New deal. You gotta bring him in. Grace, we're three miles offshore. You just crashed a police helicopter. Not exactly keeping a low profile. Where do you want us to go? CIA safe house Hazlitt. Be there in 30. And Butcher? Yeah. Please be careful. I will. Hey, Annie, it's me again. Have you ever seen the music video for that Billy Joel song, You're Only Human? <laughs> uh, there's this kid and he's climbing up a bridge and he's he's gonna kill himself but then billy joel steps up with his harmonica and tells him to stop you just have to wait for your second wind and now i i feel like i'm i'm that kid and thank god i found my second wind because it's it's you i can Aww. honestly say i've never called you, know you and talked like that though babe hey, remember that song oh that's so um, nice though look i know it's exciting uh taking down a lot and being like James Bond and everything. But you gotta be careful because that stuff can go to shit really quick and you wind up hurting the people that you love. Like the way that I hurt you. That probably sounded better in his head, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the execution of that was, you know, a little strange. Maybe she'll love it. Or maybe she'll never hear it. <laughs> it was very sensitive and sweet. I'll put it that way. I know I don't come up to 99 enough and I apologize for that. Times like this tend to give us clarity, don't they? You and me are partners, after all. And that's how we'll get through this, together. But sir, I gotta say. Yeah, didn't you lie to them? We didn't know about this compound V shit. Is that so? Well, we're all victims here, A-Train, but we'll get to the bottom of it. I promise, right now, catching this super terrorist is the villain. <laughs> Super villain. Sure. Whatever. It must be our priority, and it changes the conversation. So you want us to go out there? Now? I mean, we still need to be prepped by legal and PR. Then. There's no time for that. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think we have to damage control your... <laughs> hey guys. Right. We gotta pull together here. Thank you, Homelander. Shh. Not you. <laughs> Us. The seven. Okay, coach. See, it doesn't matter who made us or how we got here. The point is, we are here. Together. Family. You guys. You are my real family. <laughs> this guy, he doesn't care about us. We're not his partners, we're his product. So who gives a shit if Fop burns the ground? You should think before you say something you don't mean. Really, should I? Uh-oh. We are not bought. You see, companies, they come and go with talent. Talent is forever. The world still needs superheroes. And oh, she likes that. That's what we are. So let's get out there and do what it is we do. I kind of like that, because I want Homelander to start a getting lot, wild. Huh? <laughs> I did not see that Why? coming from you. Because it's entertaining. Maybe you don't know me that well. Maybe I don't. Oh, she thought he was just a bot boy. She thought he was bought and paid for. Right <laughs> there. So they're going to go get him. He's all about the semantics, though. Talking about super villain. Is that the D? <laughs> no, he's calling his friends. Oh, okay, maybe. <laughs> And Billy will just shoot anything and anybody. <laughs> we lost power. Billy almost looks like Hopper right now. I know with the shirt. Yeah. Everyone, off the phone now. Good thing they got that back boat. Crunch it, grab the winch. Nice. Oh, 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 let's go, let's go. Break 
<laughs> that was a good catch. <laughs> oh yeah, he caught him in. <laughs> so weird to see Billy Butcher hanging out with the deep. <laughs> no, he's gonna he's about to stop him so we can get back in the seven. <laughs> Butcher! What are you doing? Well I mean I know that. That's I was like I don't about. think they're gonna ever like each other. <laughs> don't hurt the oh why are they gonna do them like that? And it was always his fault. He thought they were just gonna stop for that. He thought they respected the animals <laughs> like he did. Oh my, I'm so tired of him getting animals killed like that for no reason. This is supposed to be his moment. Now he just has more psychological problems. The deep. <laughs> Where's oh, Shui? Did you see him? He had something wrapped around his neck. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. You alright? Ew. <laughs> Awesome. I don't like this. We've got a leg. Deep's here and the seven one but far behind. Yeah, you guys go ahead. I'm good. Uh, hey, what? Just gonna sit here and wait. What are you waiting for? My second win. And he is not going. Yes. Come on. Come on. Get your hands off of me! And you'll fight outside. Please. All right, fine. Suit yourself. All right. Come on, let's go. Yeah, leave him there. <laughs> he uh, wants to stay in there, stay in there. We can't leave the king, man. Pinocchio, stay in put. Have at it. <sighs> hey, kid. What are you doing here? Uh. uh. Just why? Going? Just why do they have to be in there? <laughs> I'm gonna be here any second. Probably. Asshole. Yep. Wait, oh. what exactly does Huey bring to the team at this point? He's just sort of Connection always like to Starlight now. Yeah, I guess. And kind of he killed Translucent, <laughs> so they kind of have to like. Yeah, but from their perspective, they're so against Starlight. It seems like they would just cut him. This way. But I guess he knows a lot about him, huh? He ain't gonna wash off first. Kids fall apart. You know that, right? Well, what'd you expect? He's a civilian. No, no, no. It's not just him. It's all of us. Just move the feet. Come on. Move. We're at our breaking point. And you keep pushing us and pushing. It's like you're right over the finish line. We hand that over, then I get Becca, and you get your girls. Huey's not gonna make it. And you need that kid. More than any one of us. He's your canary. What canary? You let your canary die? How you gonna know when you've gone too far? Oh, oh he keeps the humanity in the group. Bunks. Well, there's our answer. No, I tried, all right? The kid doesn't want to borrow me. Come on. Yeah, they should have washed off in that ocean water. I know, they were right there and just rinse off real quick. Mr. Bloody. Deep. Hey. Hey. What happened? He killed her. What? I just tried to help out. You know, I got some intel and the bullet. Okay. I just tried to cut him off. So sorry. I was just like, I'm going to try to what? stop him. I tried to cut him okay. off. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. So you're saying there's people with the terrorists? Look at me. You're saying they're not alone. I think so. All right. Did you get a good look at them? Or? Not really. I was too busy worrying about Lucy. <laughs> right. Lucy. <laughs> but I think they went off in the storm drains. Who invited you? Exactly. What I did was unforgivable. I'm going to do everything in my power to renew my light. Mm. Not just for you, but for all the female people that I've offended. Renew your light? Did you just join the Church of the Collective? Maybe. You're an idiot. Hey, easy <laughs> on the religious persecution, Starlight. Maybe one day you can welcome me back into the Seven. But I know my road is long and hard. Are you serious? There is no way you're coming back. There's no need for language. All right, enough. We do not have time for this. Look, I am with you, sister, but first we have to go get the terrorist, okay? 
I mean, I get why Starlight's mad, but at this point, it's like, he is a superhero, bro. He can control wells. Anyone gets eyeballs on the target? He's mine. No, he can't. He can get them killed. All right, you need to hang back a bit, okay? Okay. So we've got some work to do with the ladies, but it's going to be okay. We'll be back in no time. Really? Sure. One other thing, you you ripped your best. What? Your gill is showing. Cover it up. It's disgusting. He's been trying to fight this journey so hard. <laughs> and the first person to see it a little bit literally the told him. The second he's like trying to do the whole seven thing again, it just all falls apart. Huh? <laughs> Look at him, he's about to cry. Oh my God. need a little rehab. Dang, he saw him just have that whole freak out right there. I know you will, I try. <laughs> you better stop breathing. It can be the Homelander. Hopefully it's just Annie. <laughs> He's like, second win. There you are. You got my message. I... Oh, shoot. She just couldn't hide it from Homelander, basically. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. This guy? Again? I did not know. Shut it. All right. I'd like you to do something for me. Oh, no. Kill him. He's wanted. Shouldn't we take him to the police? Yes, we should. Kill him. Right now. Chicks, right, Huey? Oh, come on. It's easy. Chicks, right? Hands in the air. Like you just don't care. <laughs> Kill. Do it. More incentive? Okay. You kill him, or I'll kill you both. Do it. Oh, this is good if they see that she doesn't do it. He's gonna hit Homelander. Boy. Was she about to do it? William? I don't know. What a surprise. You know, I had a great breakfast with your wife this morning. Delicious. <laughs> she hated yeah. every second of it. <laughs> Eat this. Y'all better go. <laughs> that was a pretty weak way to get out of that. Not even gonna lie, but that's okay. Y'all better run. Come on, Yui. Before that gets out. Come on. Oh, Billy just saved his life. I'd hope so. They've been inside wells together. <laughs> So she's just no good, huh? She just did not care that she just like ran up in there. Maybe she didn't like the team he was rooting for. Yeah, maybe she don't like Aaron Rodgers. No, they're playing basketball. Oh. <laughs> I thought I saw a New York Jets shirt on. He probably did. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm just gonna take a wild guess in the dark that she just hates black people or something. And she's chasing the Asians? <laughs> yeah. Well, she kind of has to chase the Asians though, <laughs> just to be bigger.
Is she supposed to be like Storm? He's kind of like Storm. Hand thingy anymore? How come? Uh, oh, she's gonna pull his head off. She's crazy. Open your eyes. I like to see the light go out. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe she's like a serial killer or something. Yellow bastard. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she just races. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh. I said he was mine. You snooze, you lose, Gramps. Where's your eyes at, Homelander? <laughs> This is so over the top. He's mad he didn't get the kill. <laughs> <Yeah>. Like, ridiculous. <laughs> They're there because the soups and they're still idolizing him. It's pretty crazy, right? And sad. I know the news of Compound V came as a shock to everyone. As you can imagine, this has been a very difficult day for the Vought family. Our focus now will be to learn the truth. As I said, we are conducting a robust investigation into Compound V. Let me be clear. I had no knowledge whatsoever. We believe it was the work of a small, disaffected group of scientists led by former yeah, I, employee I knew it. They would blame her. Madeline Stilwell. But sadly, there are more important matters at hand. Everyone at Vought sends their thoughts and prayers to those families that were affected today. Though it is important to acknowledge this tragic event could have been far worse. Today's attack underscores just how dangerous the threat is to us more than ever. Our brave our borders and attack our citizens. Our superheroes are the last line of defense. And today, the death toll would have been much higher had it not been for the brave actions of our newest hero, Stormfront. Stormfront had Why the hell have y'all not showered yet? <laughs> y'all right? sitting on the couch. Stormfront. I don't know about Stormfront now. She caused all that havoc for no reason. Thank you. But we all know who the real heroes of this group are, right? People you see behind you. The people who are struggling every day. So let's give them all a hand. He took that from Homelander's playbook. Right. If she's gonna be like Homelander, let's just make her awful. <laughs> Why does he like hate her though? Because she's got potential to take him over. Plus she's not following his rules. Oh, that's her new enemy. Crazy episode. Babe, what you think? Hmm? This show is getting crazy, ain't it? It's wrapping up. So basically, man, at the end of the day, Stormfront's like the new issue. So they made Stormfront out to just be like some horrible racist person, which is like typical. <laughs> yeah. At, but at the same time, it's so corny. But if that's what the show is. So I think it's really funny. If she's gonna be awful, baby, just make her terrible. Make her make her the as bad as Homelander, yeah. right? <laughs> I think this show is just getting so good. It's becoming peak TV at this point. I think that the news breaking with the compound V was just so well done in this episode. I like how it wasn't like too much of a media storm. It wasn't yeah. over the top, you know because on some level they can't just march in there and start demanding things of Homelander. So they seem a little standoffish, I guess. I think the craziest part of this episode was when he threw his son off the roof. Yeah. That was nuts. <laughs> yeah, his son I'm sure is gonna become important eventually, like way more important. Assuming I wouldn't that. be surprised if they killed him off just for shock factor at this I point. I wouldn't be surprised if he like him and t Homelander become a team and they take over Becca and Billy or something. Right. And at the end of the day, Huey was saved by none other than your boy, Billy Butcher. So hopefully Huey can get his mind together a little bit because he's just too all over the place. And I think his biggest issue is the fact that he feels like he's doing all this for a bunch of monsters who don't care about him mm. and maybe just that olive branch that billy butcher extended would be enough to make him stop questioning his like moral compass so much yeah you can tell in the show he's just very uneasy about like what they're still doing at this point mm -hmm. it's not really about like originally his girlfriend died and now it's not really about that now they're trying to take down the world so right <laughs> it's become a lot more than that right and it's getting sticky and gray at this point so all right let's get into the next one yeah, me too. We should order Chinese food. Communication is everything. Steve and I had been dating for two years when he asked me to marry him. At the rehearsal dinner, my dad said we should look into a 529 account for our kids. Steve laughed and said, we were never having kids, <laughs> which was um, news to me. The caterer was totally cool with everything, but the Marriott did keep our deposit on the banquet room. So, yeah, <laughs> communication. The boss of the the boss of the Frenchie's too nice to be doing all that. Mm. 
He's like Jesse from Breaking Bad. Just kind of nice emerging and cool, about but at the same time, terrorist whose senseless attack on good. an apartment <laughs> building left 59 <laughs> people dead and over 100 injured. His name, Kenji Miyashiro. Miyashiro was radicalized by the extremist group Shining Light Liberation Army. Witnesses who caught a glimpse of the killer described him as dead-eyed and unemotional <laughs> as he rampaged through it killing. It wasn't your fault. Dang, they you put it all on him for no reason. Look at me. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, I was just... Bad timing. Yeah, wrong timing, Frenchie. No one can debate that New Yorkers owe their lives to the brave actions taken by Stormfront. Earlier today, Stormfront made an appearance at a New York City park. How many more people have to die? You guys, I have been shouting up and down the hallways at Vought, and you know what they're doing to stop another attack? Jack sh Let's show Vought what they have to do. Tomorrow morning, Vought Square. Be your own hero. Make your voice heard. Don't let me I kind of like that that's irritating him. <laughs> Divide and conquer, right? Because someone needs to irritate him. He's being so annoying to Ryan and Becca. There you are. This so, can't be real. Is it the house of deaths? Like all his victims I was beginning there? to worry. Oh, I've missed you so much. Are you thirsty? <laughs> I don't know why that just grosses me out. Like if it was like Sprite, it's cool, but milk, <laughs> ugh. Mm. <laughs> My good boy. <sighs> was that real or a memory or I mean, a fantasy? We saw her eyes being right melted and then blown up. I ever tell you about my recurring dream? I'm on stage alone at Carnegie Hall. My audience is made up of every poor bastard who got killed by the superheroes. What are they doing? Nothing. They're all just watching me. Waiting for me to do something. We hit a dead end on right now. I'm sorry. Christ, I don't want to hear sorry. Sorry is not an option. We can't have anonymous skull exploding assassins walking around. <laughs> But if they hit the speaker next, or the president? Information on who it is, maybe? Look, oh, that person. You mentioned her before. Second tier soup, active in the 70s. She was all over Susan's private server. Get Marvin to talk to this Liberty. Address on the back, North Carolina. Let's see what we can find. Wait. I found Becca. Or at least our best guess where she is. Bought facility, armed to the teeth. Won't be easy. We had a deal. I didn't come through. Jesus, Butcher, I'm just giving it to you. It's my fault you stopped searching for her. I put a target on Homelander's back and pointed you right at him. I didn't know Becca was still. Dang. Good on you, Mallory. Hey! See? <laughs> You get disrespected over and over and over. That's what happens. I mean, how much shit is he supposed to take? Everybody respects you. <laughs> Terrorist was my save, not hers. What, now that that media is so so the it. face of the seven? No, she's Come not. On. No, you are. And it's not just her, it's the entire team. No. Yes, it is. It's a whole chain of weak links. It's, it's, it's very hard not to take it personally. Oh, I know. I know. Shh. 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 I'll tell you one thing. You wouldn't put up with this shit. God, I miss that about you. You don't need me to do that. The Seven is your team. You nurtured them. You watered and fed them. That's what I did. Yes, and if they can't respect that, or you, well, maybe time to tear out the weeds and start all over again. Hmm. Oh. Maybe he's oh. having like hallucinations when he doesn't drink milk or something. Back. Change back! Oh. I'm sorry, I can only hold a sheep for so long before it really hurts! Change <laughs> back now, doppelganger! Oh my god, I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, it's okay. Come here. It's all good. <laughs> oh, my little boy. Come on. 
It was that guy. <laughs> I love you. I love you. You're mm. the most powerful man in the whole wide world. <laughs> that makes me feel so weird. And there's nothing that you cannot do. He said, I can only Storm stay in that form so long. <laughs> compound alone. Archie, how is it possible that you're dumber than you look? Mine. It's Becca. But win or lose, you ain't coming back. Of course I am. That's bullshit. It's not like Vought's gonna let us settle down on the land, though. We gotta get gone and stay gone. And what about us? Hmm? The Spice Girls, right? You're in charge now, muzzle tough. <laughs> I don't want to be in charge. Matter of fact, I don't even want to be here. I gave up my family for this. For you. Now, when do I get them back? You find this Liberty Slack. See what you can rumble. You jump through a few hoops for the Colonel. She'll help you the same way she helped me. She always liked you more anyway. What about Frenchie? He's been high as a kite for days. He won't even notice I'm gone. Mm. And Yui? Kid's a weeper. Don't want him to get snot all over me jacket. <laughs> they can't hide from Homelanders. It's not gonna work. Her uniform looks so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And cold. Don't you think she gets cold sometimes? I would not want to be on the elevator with him. He can fly. Take the stairs. Maeve begged me to spare your life. So I gave you a second chance and he failed me. What are you talking about? No more lies. <laughs> You go ahead and scream as much as you want. Yeah. What did I do? I told you to kill Hugh Campbell and you hesitated. I said that we should go to the police. You disobeyed my orders because you're with him. Huey Campbell broke my heart worse than anyone ever has. And part of me wants to blast his face off, so no, I'm not with him him but if you want to kill me because i'm not a murderer and i won't straight up execute someone then go ahead so tell me am i lying you're not lying dang he is stressful <laughs> You like an almond joy? You allergic to nut? Do you mean William Butcher? Okay. Well, he's definitely on the yacht with the terrorist. Some of his known accomplices were too. We lost them in these storm tunnels. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll keep you posted when we find them. Or I can look right now. Just uh, run a facial recognition search <laughs> or you can join me his silence is very ominous and you can't see his facial expressions hey. so you don't know if he's like happy sad thanks for coming hey you're so good no, it's fine it's okay that was all me it's cool really i mean you know i could have killed you uh, you didn't I got your voicemail. Oh, God. Can we just chalk that up to a, a drunk dial? Okay. Yeah. So we got the comp on B out there, and Vought is still kicking. We risked our lives just to make the world way worse. Wait, wait, no, no, no. That's not true. Look, Andy, they take time. How much time? Just, sorry, just give me one second. Um, hey, I'm at Raleigh? Like the one in North Carolina? Yeah, okay, okay, Jesus, I was just asking. Um, <laughs> Best amount. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just pick me up at like 81st and, and, and Central Park West. Oh, so they're um, gonna go pick up Liberty or whatever they're I have to go. What's going on? Can I call you later? Are you just gonna hang out here? Yeah, I can't go back to the tower right now. Why, what happened? I can't. Hmm. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> she can't come with us, Huey. She's chipped. And we'd be out of the city, away from the cameras. I mean, no one would see us. No. Even her standing here is dangerous. Maybe he's right. I... If we're gonna go knock on some soup store, don't you think it makes a little bit of sense for us to have one of our own? 
Kimiko. Kimiko, I was not saying. She needs this. You mean you need this? Mother's milk don't let nothing slide. Doesn't <laughs> calls you out for everything. Yeah, Monique calls him out for everything. <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> yes. Shockwave. Shockwave listens and Nickelback. Don't bullshit me, Ashley. Shockwave is just here to talk about Vought for Tots. I swear to God. It's <laughs> <laughs> outreach for toddlers. Apparently, they're getting obese. Well, shit, I love fat kids. Use me. Good, you're here. <laughs> Tell them yet? Vought for Tots. <laughs> Tell me what? I thought we were going to have a strategy meeting. Hey, train, you're out. Out of what? Out of seven. You did great, but we're going in a different direction, so you're out. What? You just said everything was fine. You're gonna have a <laughs> year of parades. You're gonna hit the talk show circuit. You're, you're gonna have your own reality show. The outpouring of love and gratitude is gonna be off the charts. I'm not going. Hey, Train, <laughs> you can't run. <laughs> yes, I can run. I just, I, I just... Buddy, you think I don't know what's been going on? It's your heart. I doubt you're even cracking the top 20 anymore, and that makes a seven, me, look pretty ridiculous. I do want you to know, though, this was really hard for me. It's like his knee it's went out or something. You know, we'll always be friends. He's uh, like a horse or something. Yeah. That was so disingenuous. And disingenuous. Anyone mind if I put on some music? Oh, God. What's she going to put? <laughs> oh, God. You have a really good voice. You can do that, like, wavering thing you should do on American Idol. Vibrato. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> we'll get mother's milk. Bacon, <laughs> Reagan, Palestine, terror on the airline. <laughs> Foreign death, homosex, AIDS, crack, burning death. I don't think I've ever really heard this song like that. Me either. I just heard the chorus. I know. I just know you can't stop the fire. Hey, hey, this ain't no little Vegas road trip, okay? <laughs> Y'all ain't on no date either. Just chill. Not your goddamn chaperone. Party pooper. Yeah, they did just get hyped though. <laughs> Oh God! What they the say hell? if you love someone, you should set them free, but that seems crazy to me because if you love someone, you will never let them go. Have you heard of the lovers of Valdaro? They were alive like six thousand years ago. These two skeletons with their arms around each other—that's love. What are these interviews like? What is that? Because there was one at the beginning. I don't know. You smell like a wet dog. Oh, you want a drink? Well, who says I'm alone, asshole? Well, why'd you answer the door? I feel like he just cheated on Kimiko, so, Loki. Are you gonna tell me what's wrong? <laughs> or are you just gonna stain my clean sheets with your sweaty despair? Try to kiss her. Kimiko. Her brother died. I wanted to make her feel better. You thought a kiss would make her feel better or you feel better? She was in pain. I wanted to help. You always want to help. If you think that by saving her, you can make amends for all the people you hurt. That's for these children that lamplighter burned. I feel like that room would stink, boy. What is it? Look, she's not a kitten up a tree. Just leave her alone. Let her grieve. What could this grieving all alone ever do? And in our continuing coverage of the recent revelations over Compound V, protesters all over the Middle East have taken to this over I'll be right back. Mm. You two want a room? You and the donut. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's just, um, my mom never let me have this stuff. Weight gain in our household was a capital crime. But my dad, um, he would get me a chocolate cream filled donut. I don't think he really cares about this story. Tell him about <laughs> my day. <laughs> He'd listen. Baskin Robbins, every Sunday after church. My pops, he'd always ask for samples. Now, this place had 31 <laughs> flavors. <laughs> like Erica. Would taste each and every flavor every time we'd go up in there. There'd be a line all the way out the door. People would be mad as hell. 
yelling, cussing, yo, my man, get your ice cream and bounce. You think that stopped him? <laughs> Hell nah. He would stand right there and order another sample. Can I please try the Jamocha almond fudge, please? That one's the best one, honestly. That's my favorite one. My ass was so embarrassed. I'd be sitting there wishing the floor would just open up and just swallow me whole. So now I give a year off my life just to be able to see that man going through spoon after spoon just one last time. That was sweet. When did he? 16 years ago. To fathers and sugar. To fathers and sugar. Aww. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you dry wiping? What? Come here. Listen, any part of your body, and I mean any part, mm -hmm. that you dry wipe, you're not cleaning anything. You're just smearing shit all over your skin. Here. Got to use wet wipes. There you go. You just carry these around with you? <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Always. Of course, Star White's gonna have to freaking do something about it now. Always. No, 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 This is not the time to be a soup, okay? We're low key, not with us here. Hey, there's a ton of people here. Okay, that guy, he's calling 911. We'll be okay. Come on, we gotta go. Calm down, calm down. That's kind of what Huey has to do, though. Every time he wants to help, he can't. Well, in Huey's case, so other people could do it. Yeah, true. <laughs> Don't go out there. Any place around here without a million bloody cameras. Oh, she has to say? I think she's like on surveillance in a compound 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? Did he hurt you? <laughs> Okay, I'm fine. I thought you were dead. I stopped looking. I shouldn't have stopped. I couldn't call anybody. I can't imagine what it must have done to you. I'm sorry. You've done nothing wrong. Look at you. My girl. Always. Now it's not safe for me to be here. If I do, he's going to kill you, and you know that. Right. Okay. If you get caught there, they're going to change locations. Got out of the last scrape of water, didn't I? That was a one time deal. What'd you say? Mom? I said if he hurt you. I would kill myself in front of Ryan. And my last words would be, your father did this to me. He seems desperate for a relationship with his son, so it worked once. It's a good thing he don't know your tales. I wasn't bluffing. I'm gonna get you out of here. How? Over the fence the same way that I come in. How? No, Ryan, Ryan can't climb that fence. Why? Is he too little? My kids can out climb my ass. His <laughs> eyes glow, I thought he might. Thought he got no powers. Yes, but I'm not, I'm not raising him like that. Hey. There's a garbage truck. It comes by the house every morning at 11. I doubt anyone checks the hopper. You sure it's not compact? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. That's the plan. Mm -mm. I'd have to double check that. I wouldn't well, trust you. Why is it there every day at 11? <laughs> They'd be going through that trash. And what like... if that's doppelganger? I have to go. I get suspicious when I've gone too long. You're right, because he came in pretty easy, didn't he? Wait here. I'll be back. No, I'm not talking about Billy. I'm talking about what if Becca's doppelganger. <laughs> what if Billy's doppelganger? Setting her up just to see what the plan is. Oh, uh, you're smart. You said it. <laughs> okay, so we got two rooms. There's three of us. I guess I'll be uh, bunking with M.M. Naturally. Man, grow up, Huey. I got you with me, girl. <laughs> Maybe you should change your mind. Do you hear him? Peanut M&M's. Mm. Is that an almond joy? Mm -hmm. Nobody likes almond joy. No one. I was about to say I do, but I ain't about to set myself <laughs> up. This is my top three, for sure. <laughs> what are your other two? Charleston Chew. Ew. And Biddo Honey. Jesus The Christ. worst three. Those are the like three worst candy bars in the history of candy. <laughs> There's milk it. duds You're in there, sick. too. Mm. Add it. Brain. Hey, what's up with MM's OCD? Wait, what, what OCD? You know, when he changes lanes. He taps the steering wheel three times. He stirs the coffee three times. The antiseptic wipes. Really? You haven't noticed any of this. Oh, wow, you're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just control over things he can't control, I guess. I should be the last one talking about that. This is the girl who's just stress eating all day. Oh my God! That was, nice. I was so good. That was really good. I'd hit that trash can every time. <laughs> Harder than it looks. <laughs> I think, you know, actually, I think I went the other way with the eating. I think I lost like seven pounds. Well, I sleep about four hours a night. 
I wish I slept four hours a night. I mean, I'm, I'm too busy chewing my fingernails down to the quick. I don't know what a quick is, but. <laughs> I didn't either. Here's one. <laughs> I walk around the Seven Tower with this knot in my gut, just wondering if Homelander is waiting around every corner to kill me. It's like living with a loaded gun in my face. <laughs> Do you feel that way? Honestly. Now? Here he's back in the game. Wait, 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 wait. I got it. Why is he turning the light off again? Because it's more romantic, maybe? I still want to see you. Love is a leap of faith. <laughs> like my last boyfriend was obsessed with Ed Sheeran. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Shape of you, Galway girl, whole catalog. So he asked me to get one of these with him. <laughs> oh, gosh. Two weeks later, he broke up with me. I hate Ed Sheeran. I like your cardigan, though. It's cute. I feel like with the right artist, you could turn that into a Harry Potter. What if Becca is now doppelganger? I know, that's why I can't just be happy for him right now. <laughs> well, I guess not. So you ages to quit all them little patches, eh? <laughs> Do you want one? No. <laughs> the beard's new. Fancy it, eh? Uh, haven't decided yet. How long have you been here for then, eh? Since I gave birth. How are you old enough? Yeah. You know, you forget about reading the news or going to a restaurant. It's okay. Ryan's happy and that's what matters. You're going to like him. <laughs> He's sweet. He's like, oh, am I? It's a fitting image smart. of my favorite person. I know you hate kids and all, but... No, I don't. I don't hate kids. Just you. I'm a very good role model, am I? How have you been? All right. Started a private security company. That's yeah. what he calls it. <laughs> Weddings, per mitzvahs. Oh, shit. Homelander said you were a man possessed. He said you've been chasing after him for years. Well, I thought he killed you. So, yeah. On the bright side, I'm sleeping in a basement beneath a pawn shop in East Flatbush. I'm sorry. Kind of a cool spot. I never wanted that for you. And what was I supposed to do? Let him get away with it. What was I before you? Nothing. And you saved me. And here you've been living in this shithole, and I haven't been here for you. Aww. I'm gonna make it up to you from now to the day I die, I swear to God. Man, that is not the same piece of land they were just driving through. They're acting like little school kids. And MM's just like, what the heck? Mother's mother's just mad because he's been with her for like 14 real? years. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Very real. But the seven will protect you. That's right. Always listen to Maeve. She always tells the truth. And we're grateful mm -hmm. every day. On a related subject, Compound V, did either of you know about it before the news broke? No. Absolutely not. Madeline Stilwell, she lied to all of us. Turns out she was a monster. We're, we're just as hurt and upset and confused as everyone else. Let's talk hashtag heroes so white. The numbers are <laughs> rather startling. 92% of heroes are Caucasian, African American, 6%, <laughs> Latin and Asian. Each they don't have control percent. of that. So now they have to keep a train. Why yeah. doesn't Vought want diversity? Wow. These are some real hardballs, Maria Menounos. <laughs> but check your facts. Let's uh, take the seven. For example, we've got A Train. He's a black man. We got Black Noir. He. Um, yeah, we don't know. He doesn't you. identify with any race, really, so they're covered. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a gay hero. Oh. Really? Who in the seven is gay? <laughs> Queen Maeve. Oh. They were under the bus for some DEI stuff. Yeah. Scoop for you, Maria. Maeve here <laughs> for you. is a strong, be more popular proud now, yeah. lesbian with a beautiful girlfriend. Elena, Hispanic girlfriend. Oh. And I, for one, am so proud of her. She'll get to do a piece with Oprah Where's now. Elena? What did you do to her? She's fine. What did I do to her? I set her free. And you, you've been living in the shadows so long. Doesn't it feel good to be out in the sun? Hold on. 
Me and Helena are just friends. Oh, just friends? Yes. Because, see, I heard you two talking on the phone, and it sounded a little more than friends. So I did a little digging, and imagine my surprise. Okay. We had a relationship. Hmm. Once. Once a relationship. Relationship. That's such a vague word. What does that mean to you? What, long walks in the park? A shoulder to cry on, scissoring each other raw. I ended the relationship when I joined the Seven. When I met you. Stop lying to oh me. Oh my God. I met my wits end with the lies. It's because you're scary, bro. We're together. And you love her? Hmm. Well, best of luck to you both. Oh, is it so hard to believe that I want you two to be happy? Yeah. <laughs> and in love? Honestly, Maeve, I am really, really happy for you. He's so He's creepy. He's so <laughs> creepy, dude. Oh, <laughs> like, my God. And he outed her on national TV. I know. <laughs> Jesus. And have you seen Vox Saving America ads? Super dares. Like, she's looking right at him. And squishy and patriotic. Bot wants you to feel calm so that you continue to buy their shitty toys and going to see their shitty movies. <laughs> but maybe we shouldn't feel so calm or safe. One super terrorist has already gotten through. Here we go. She's about to make herself look like one. And for all we know, these maniacs could already have flown over our borders oh. and be standing next to you just waiting for their chance to kill us all. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna sit around and cross our fingers that Homelander's gonna save us when he's not on Maria Menounos? Or will we demand that Vought do better? What do you say? Not now, can we go? Laurent, my girl, please. You will not survive. Let's go home. Cool exit. I, I, I didn't know she could do all that. Me either. So she's she's pretty tough. Homelander might have a hard time with her. She probably works for Edgar directly or something. Because remember Edgar kind of shoot her in <laughs> right. without Homelander. Maybe she was created in secret as like a balance to Homelander. Right. You know what I mean? Keep an antidote. <laughs> Hello? You can't keep that um, man in line, though. Hello, I'm Huey. Is is there by any chance a woman living here who used to go by the name of um, Liberty? No. Please leave. Miss, sorry if my friend offended you, but we just want to ask just a couple of questions. Just leave me alone. I took your damn money, I signed your damn papers, and I have kept my mouth shut. Oh, she's we're, Liberty. We're not with Vaught. We just want to learn what we can about Liberty. That's it. Then y'all are just some damn fools. It sounds like you know her. You wasting your time, okay? Miss, miss, miss. Hear us out. After that, you want us to leave, we go. Great. So basically, they're a hostage until he agrees to leave. was a lawyer. Small time, very smart. When I was a kid, something happened between my family and Vaughn, which I'd rather not talk about, but it was bad. You see, my dad, he believed in the law and that nobody was above it, not even Vaughn. Mm -hmm. So he went to work. He got after their asses. He had one of those, you remember those little black typewriters? I'd go to sleep at night to all that noise, my father banging away at that thing. Wake up the next morning, he'd still be hammering away. But see, Vart wasn't about to let this one black man put his foot on their necks. Mm -hmm. So they hired teams of lawyers, paid off judges. But my father never gave up. Till one morning I woke up and I didn't hear those keys anymore. Dang. Just found them hunched over that typewriter dead at 55. I'm so sorry for your loss. Not here for your sympathy, but I am going to tell you that his fight got passed down to me. And I'm going to make Vaughn pay for what they did to him. And ma'am, from what I gather, what they've done to you as well. I mean, <laughs> good thing they didn't leave that up to Huey. He's like, oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> what good is all dredging goofy, you know? all this stuff up now going to do? Honestly, we don't know. But we still need to hear it. I tried to get people to listen. <laughs> Lord knows so many times I tried. But a little black girl accusing a white superhero of murder. In these parts, it was during one of those summer rains that you just knew was coming by the smell in the air. I know about those. My ankle feels it. I was 11 years old, sleep in the back seat of my folks' Ford. My brother Myron, he was driving. 
What's the trouble, ma'am? Get out. Hey. Your car was involved in a robbery tonight. No, it wasn't. I, I had it. I don't know nothing about any robbery. Just confess. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me, lady? Ain't you supposed to be a hero? I am a hero for killing a black piece of like you. Dang. Why are the white people always so evil? Golly. Oh, so Liberty affected their family just like everyone else. I, I see. wanted to go to the police, but my folks, they thought it was pointless. So when that man from Vaught, when he showed up and he offered us that money, we just took it. $2,000. That is what my brother's life was worth. But y'all have got to promise me that you won't tell anybody that I sat here and I talked to you. Because if that woman finds out that I opened my mouth, she's going to kill me. That woman, Liberty, nobody's seen her since... 1979, I mean, she's probably dead by now. Oh, no, no. Uh oh, she's got evidence. Right here. Maybe she's like That's Bigfoot. Her. Right there. That's Liberty. Yeah, I, I kind of figured that was her. What? Because that she's just racist for no reason, too. Valerie was just a little girl, and she said it was raining, so she could be wrong. She seemed pretty certain. Yeah, but if Liberty and Stormfront are the same person, then that makes Stormfront like what, like 70 years old? Yeah, more? but who knows what Compound V can do? I mean, maybe she doesn't age like a regular person, okay? Right. The same Stormfront that just became America's favorite two-fisted suit. Mm -hmm. Might have popped Rainer's head for getting too close. I didn't know that about your dad. It sounds like he was a real hero. I thought so, but nah, he's just a man with a disease. Why is he even looking at those to make him so funny? <laughs> that reminds me of that guy in Congress who started crying over that meme on the Congress floor. You guys don't know him out. <laughs> who left do you think you are? What, you think I don't see it? Trying to undermine me, steal my team. Hold on a minute. Let me tell you right now, it won't work. I'm the face of the seven, not you, me. I still score higher on every demo that counts. 18 to 34, <laughs> 18 to 49, 25 to 54. They all love me. Every demo that counts. Well, congratulations. I mean, this constant need to be loved by everyone is kind of pathetic, but um, yay. No. <laughs> Okay. Well, if you're scared, why are you talking so much for? Yeah, she's not watching. She's about to put her little things out. I clearly out. pushed you a little far. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to help. Really? How? By taking what's mine? Let me tell you something right now. I built this team from the ground up, and there is no way that anyone is going to take it away from me. You spent $273 million on that Saving America bullshit, <laughs> and I am running circles around you with five guys on laptops churning out memes. You can't win the whole country anymore. No one can. You don't need 50 million people to love you. You need 5 million people pissed. Emotion sells. Anger sells. You have fans. I have soldiers. Dang. <laughs> Look, I think that you are the best of us. You just need a little help connecting with your audience. You know, change with the times. I don't need help connecting with my audience. Thank you. You're late. Where's the kid? I'm not leaving. What are you talking about? Of course you are. Grab the kid and let's go. You don't really want Ryan to come with us. Of course I do. I said I'd take him, didn't I? I wanted to believe you. Believe me. Now, come on. we got to get a shift on. Listen, if the three of us leave, you're going to find a way to get rid of him. I know it. You will. Oh, Becca, no. Billy, I know you. I know you better than anybody, and I saw it in your face last night. I see it now. He's a billion dollar piece of foreign property. They are not gonna let him go. Becca, you and me, we got a chance. It's Ryan they care about, not us. Yeah, and then what? And then Vought raises him without a mother, right? Then we That's have Homeland all over again, then there's two assholes in this world. We could disappear, all right? Just start again, start a new family. I have a son! He's a suit freak! Hmm, where's Laura's son? Listen up. Yeah, you can't come back from that one, Billy. I didn't mean that. Becca, please. Come with me. You were wrong about me. Do you know that? You put me on this pedestal. And the truth is, I never knew how to save you. 
You were always one, one bad day away from pounding someone to death in a parking lot. That's not true. He raped me. And when I found out I was pregnant, I went to Vaughn. I didn't come to you because I was scared. Because I knew that you'd chase after him and you would seek revenge and it wouldn't be good for anybody. I love you. I love you. But the hate that you carry, the more path that you're on, it started so long before me. I can't. Damn, now she's giving him the green light. Billy's about to go wild. I'm not her. living without you. You have to go, please. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But the positive, at least he knows she's like safe. He gets closure now, at least. She broke up with him. And it wasn't just because of her situation, it was because of who he is. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's our Billy. <laughs> Thanks for letting me come. It was fun until it got so horrible. Yeah, what can I say? It's my specialty. <laughs> Listen, if you're ever in the mood for another almond joy, just, just shoot me a text. That came out so gross. I'm sorry. We... <laughs> we can't do that again. Why, though? I mean, the, this is good. But that's just it. We can't afford to feel good or to feel safe. You can't go through this on your own. We're all alone. That's the truth. But it doesn't have to be like that. Dude, he loses every single social interaction he's in. <laughs> like, oh my God. Goodbye, Huey. Hey, look at him. Just sitting there looking dumb as hell. Say something, Huey. Convince her. Talk to her. Man. I believe Huey the Magui. secret to a great relationship is to be willing to do anything for your man. <laughs> anything. I'm a feminist, but I'm also very sexual. And I don't see that as contradictory. What's wrong with giving pleasure <laughs> and receiving it? Why aren't you so dead in the face? I know. Thank you for coming in, Gianna. <laughs> so this is interviews with him <laughs> and her. Like, what is happening? Thank you so much. Anytime. It was really great meeting you. Really great. So great. <laughs> Oh, her, Gianna. I mean, she's the one, no question. No, she isn't. <laughs> Wait, what? All of them are wearing she was white. Like, hands down, the winner. It was He's still being a pig. Yeah. She was so dead in the it's face. Cassandra. <laughs> Cassandra? The one with the hair and the creepy skeletons hugging each other's story? Yes, that's your wife. Oh, but, but I thought I got to choose. You do, and you're choosing Cassandra. Congratulations. What? Why does she get a pick? Yeah, but, I mean, Gianna. It's lovely. She's lovely. She's a valued member of the collective. <laughs> oh, because he's in the cold. This yeah. He's in the cold. It isn't about satisfying your base desires. It's about rehabilitating your image and getting you back in the seven. That is what you want, isn't it? So a cult is trying to come enter the seven. Yeah, in a way, it's like they're trying to brainwash him. Yeah, that's they why they made like, him pick like a a woman that's not like the dead in the face slutty one. They're like, look, just don't pick her, and he's ready to go. And then of course he picks her. <laughs> like he's not ready for the seven. There you are. Oh my god, no. Mm. I was beginning to worry. Oh, I missed you. Are you thirsty? Want some? Just stop. Just stop that. Oh, I want you so bad. You can just go to your Isn't that work. technically a dude, though, Homelander? Are you okay? Would you like me to be someone else? I can be whoever you want. Watch him say Stormfront or something. I don't need anyone but myself. Oh, that's such a literal <laughs> man. <laughs> Why's he got the dress on? Some titties. Mm -hmm. Like what you see. <laughs> see how hot you are. Hmm? Oh god. I don't like where this Come is headed. On. How much you want this? How much? He didn't pay this guy to do this. He's just doing this on his own for yeah. real. It's the earrings oh, though. So fucking hard. It's the earrings though. <laughs> He's got a hoop earring. He has two. <laughs> Did you just say that? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not, I'm so thrown off by this. So special. 
A special man. What is that? Everybody loves you. Don't let him, Homelander. Everybody. Their love. <laughs> your Bro, strength. you're just gonna go for it? No, you shouldn't. <laughs> you could just say no. <laughs> like you just be like, no, thank you. <laughs> I prefer to keep my Johnson intact. Uh, that was the boys. That was absolutely just wild as mess. That <laughs> as last <usual>. scene. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that last scene. I was just hoping that, I think, that would be over. <laughs> you know what's crazy is the boys, the showrunners have. A, they could just like have Homelander look in the mirror and be like, I don't need you. I don't need you. But instead, they make him do all of that for that moment. <laughs> so the thing about <laughs> Homelander is like if he wants to be like a tyrant and all that stuff and take control of everything and control everything, I, that's fine. Like put it on TV. It's it's fun. You know what I'm saying? Make him crazy. But once you start getting sexually deviant, <laughs> it just becomes very like repulsive to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it just it goes from like, damn, dude, you're deranged to bro. You're kind of cringe, bro. Like, what are you doing? Get it together. I just, I can't really wrap my head around that. I can't wrap my head around the fact that he, that was like a big old chubby dude who can just <laughs> shape shift. He, he didn't care. Uh, he would try to, <laughs> it didn't matter as long as it looked like, Mad like Madeline at the time. <laughs> I understand if you're sticking your tongue in Madeline's mouth, right? That is the compounds of that saliva, that okay, saliva is a dude. Yeah. Anyway, so that was just very weird for me that Homelander's doing all that. It's just very weird that that whole shape shift and things happening. So sorry about that. Well, it's uh, not happening anymore. It's over. <laughs> that part was just too much. Well, it's done. We're, um, we're done with that. <laughs> uh, the Deep is basically being infiltrated by this random therapist lady who seems to have some very alternative motives. And you think that she's like a cult leader or something. She comes across as like a hippie shaman or something. No, she but is. She is a cult leader because someone someone told the Deep he sounded like he was in a cult or something. And it was called right. the Collective. Right. Yeah. Which is never good. I mean, yeah. if you... You should never sacrifice individuality for the collective unless like a disaster happens. Because if someone convinces you to do so, they're just trying to get you into this cult mindset. Well, it seems uh, like they're trying to either infiltrate Vought or get some information out of Vought by bringing him back to the seven by making him yeah, seem like a good guy. So interested. Yeah, they're trying to like redo his character or something. Right. And so that's why when he was like, oh, I'm picking that one. They're like, nope, you got to pick whoever. Which I don't know, the one with the hugging skeletons or something. I don't even know why they put that girl in front of him. Just <laughs> trying to destroy that man's well, psyche. All it was progress. clear because she was wearing black and everyone else was wearing white in those. So it was clear like she was the one that like. I just don't pick this one. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> yeah. don't do it. And he just still did it anyways. Right. Yeah. So basically, uh, what's the new lady's name? The one who's Stormfront. causing hell storefront. So she's basically just too much, man. She's she looks like such a to be honest, she looks like one of these really woke people, but she <laughs> looks like that. But apparently she's like a white supremacist or something. And she's just running around, just beating up all the poor black and brown people. So I don't know what's up with that, but she should definitely stop doing that because yeah. it's terrible. Uh, Homelander isn't really concerned about the fact that she's like using her position of power to like basically like terrorize people who don't deserve it. He's more concerned that she's overtaking his image in a way. Right. Right. But, which, but you know what's really weird about her? Right. She joins the Seven. And, you know, when we first, when Annie joined the Seven, it was kind of like, don't say nothing about the Seven. That's bad. Like, the Seven's great. Blah, blah, blah. She's trashing it. She joins it to talk junk about it. So it's, and it seems like it was by, they meant for it to be that way. Well, yeah. I mean, they're making her out to be like a total grifter. You well, they I mean? well they hired her to make her be that way. It seems like it seems like they oh like that's the character that they're wanting her to play. The, or they want her to do it. Right. Yeah, it's, that's what it seems like. It seems like they heard all the crap she was doing down in wherever in North Carolina or wherever, mm -hmm. and they brought her on just to maybe cause the crap. I don't know. I will we'll have to see more of it and see how it all unfolds. But I don't know. To be honest, man, her character is like she kind of sucks. Like yeah. I kind of hate her character. <laughs> Even like her snarky banter is just very annoying to me like uh she yeah, acts she's like obnoxious. a smart yeah. mouth teenager boy to be yeah honest. 
She kind of like She Hulk. She's like She Hulk. I mean, it's like the people who it is like the people who are always on social media always. They have bitch, a reckless ass mouth, quote unquote, bitching about something. You know right, what I'm saying? Yes. They always have something yes. negative. They're always trying to rally around it. Like so, she's pretty much portraying that in a perfect way on the show. It's it's unique that they are they're adding that element of like what would you call it? Modern times. Do it. It's weird. They're they're definitely we all know people like, like that. Troll in yeah, a way. yeah. Um, even though you should definitely rail against the company, she's not wrong for that. You know, you should definitely right, talk but, all the junk you can. But the thing all. is, at the same time, she's in the seven talking junk about the seven. So it's like, what are you doing? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like fake self aware, kind of like this TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, crazy episode, man. Basically, we just need to get more information. I guess vaults crumbling, but it's not going to be something that's going to happen very fast. But they they might just do a good job spinning this whole narrative. Yeah, if they, they spin really it might. on Madeline, it's a good person because she's not there to defend herself. But also. I saw that at the rallies, they're saying they want the compound V. There's like, where's my compound V? But right. the thing is, I'm starting to think that they might sell it to the elites or something like that. And right. it might, I mean, and also I feel like they could make derivatives of it, like uh, over the counter type of deal and make more money. And that's the thing about the show. Like they're trying to make it seem like there's like this independent media who's willing to like break the stories against Vault and stuff. Every single thing Vault does could be exposed very easily. But the only reason it wouldn't be is because the media is definitely in their pocket or not that the media is in their pocket. They're in the media's pocket. And it seems like if things don't come into the open, it's because the media doesn't want them to. Right. You know what I mean? So so there's like a whole thing there that we're definitely going to. So like we have the cult conspiracy thing entering and then. I feel like those are two are going to come to an he a head eventually. This world is screwed up as hell, isn't it? Yeah. And it really is. Homelander is like the ultimate, ultimate, just the ultimate. Like, I don't even know what word. Really? Because I, I think Stormfront's the ultimate. She's no, my number one no, least I'm talking favorite about, character right now. I'm talking about when him and Maeve were on that talk show, he gets a little, he gets a little like ruffled in the feathers about what's going on at Vought and he turns it on Maeve. <laughs> He's like, right. Yeah. <laughs> he like just calls her out. <laughs> he should have what he should have done instead of instead of throwing Maeve under the bus, he should have told the journalist to shut up. He should have just he should have just told the journalist to shut her mouth to stop asking stupid ass questions. That's what I would have done. But him completely turning on Maeve and then outing her like that was pretty jacked up. You don't have to throw her <laughs> under the bus. Yeah, but we've noticed with Homelander, he doesn't like when people lie to him. So you know what? Even when he was there, he was making snarky remarks like Maeve always tells the truth. But like he just was saying stuff like that. Right. And it was it's just like, you know, he's dangling in her face that she was lying. Right. Yeah, so exactly. it's just like I feel like anytime you mess with him, he's just going to screw you over. He's going to kill you eventually. I feel like everyone on the seven is basically about to become a target of this man. Yeah. I feel like he's looking. For, he's just looking for a reason to end you. I think he would have been a lot more. He'd been a lot more cold with Maeve had he he has something for her. For Maeve. They were together. And like I said, I think he likes to control her. Well, I'm sure he does, but I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's I don't a little think, more than that. I don't that. think it is. I think him and Madeline maybe, did, yeah, but Maeve, I feel like that was all for like, uh, I feel like since he dated her and since like at one point or another, he like, and from his perspective, lowered himself to her standards. Therefore, he can never look at her as a peasant because she has a history with him. So in his True mind, too. he might automatically elevate her a little bit. That too. Just because of the fact that by, by belittling her, it would, in a sense, belittle himself. Yeah. Like he could be that arrogant. You You're know right. what I mean? I mean, that's a whole next level narcissism right there. But that's his character, right? A right. Narcissist. And Billy and Becca, of course, cut things off, which I don't think Billy's ever really going to cut things off with Becca. I think that's just going to push him more towards getting to Homelander. Yeah, but if I'm Becca, you, what choice do I have at this point? You just call my kid a super freak. Right. I mean, she like, can't. She you know can't. You know, Billy's Billy will cut ties with the kid eventually because like the kid is essentially bought property and then essentially he's an experiment. And if she's a mom worth her salt, she ain't about to give up her kid for Billy. Yeah, no, Billy grows if, on trees. Even if your kid is um, a soup freak, who cares? That's your kid at that point. You know well, what I'm saying? They're not freaks. They're just soups. They're well, I know. Not freaks. I was quoting. Well, I know. Him. I know. But, but my perspective is I, like, I feel bad for the soups. Like I feel, I feel genuinely like, I feel like things that happen in our modern day society, they don't they don't choose for this to happen to them. Like adults make those decisions for them. I mean, they're victims of this whole thing. Well, yeah, the adults made the decisions for them, but with Ryan, he's like the first soup to have like a mother figure. Mm -hmm. So he could really change things around if it goes right, you know? Maybe. Right, because up, up until this <laughs> point, it'd be really hard to imagine that any of them would come out like socially normal. Yeah. There's just no way. And uh, even Ryan won't be socially normal because he can't really like go. He like she said, she can't even go to a restaurant or. Yeah. So tough. essentially, he's not that normal either. 
Right. But he could be. I mean, he could. He, he could definitely be. will be more normal than being raised in a lab, like having a mother who. Loves He'll be him. more normal staying away from Billy. Yeah. <laughs> if he grows up with Billy, he might. Well, be and just he like doesn't Homelander. need to be around Homelander either. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely not around Homelander. So it's like you know it, he's gonna grow up without a dad if he doesn't have Homelander in his life, which would be right. tough in itself too. Then the question becomes: Is he as strong as Homelander? Because that's the next. Right. That's the thing. Because maybe if he has, maybe if he's like actually can control like himself, where Homelander can't. He's just like a unhinged person oh, I see. even if their powers were equal but he was socially more well-rounded you think he could be a better well-rounded fighter than homelander? maybe because homelander's biggest downfall is probably going to be his narcissism right and his inability to like let something go or to like or but just it, act on impulse he acts on impulse a lot so maybe i don't know it's hard to judge him because at the same time like could you imagine being in his position no yeah it'd be crazy right i mean like, it's i easy feel to like judge i would him, be actually, a little twisted you know I mean. if i was raised in a lab and like lied to about essentially my whole life. Shit, I'm a little twisted and I was raised in the house. You know what I mean? Right, so. Yeah. So I mean that that's what makes I think this show so unique is because they're just all a little twisted in their own ways. Oh, they're all just so twisted. It's it's so funny to see the way they portray all these characters. Once again, man, like I feel like the biggest thing so the biggest thing I'm rooting for in the show is for Mother Milk, Mother's Milk to be reunited with his daughter, mm-hmm. obviously. Like that's And Frenchie and Kimiko, of course we're shipping that. Uh, I am because I, mean, I, I I really like Frenchie and Kim and Co. Fr- I mean, the thing is, is Frenchie's a great character, but at the same time, he's like a horrible character. Right? He's here, like you a know? you know, but I feel like he wants, maybe Kimiko could do better. I feel like Kimiko wants to he wants to be right for Kimiko, but when he screws up, he goes and does like I mean, um he listens to French rap and snorts a line. <laughs> French yeah, Frenchie's <laughs> such a cool character, man. He adds so much. Just funny relief, and I love the way he talks with his accent. Well, I think it's funny that he's such a gangster, but he's gonna go he's and so soft. he's gonna go down there and bring him some Doritos and a little thing, and be like, "Are you hungry?" I'm back to. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm back to freaking hating Huey. I cannot stand <laughs> Huey right now. He pisses me off because Huey's supposed to represent like the middle aged white guy, which is me, <laughs> and this man has absolutely no testosterone at all. There's nothing about Huey that's respectable. But I think that's the point of Huey is he's going to get it. I'm telling you, yeah, it's in season two, but in the end, he's going to be like, he's going to be Huey Butcher and have a little cloak thing and he start can't. saying mate and oi. Yeah, but some of that stuff, man, is down to the chromosomal level and you can't change that. <laughs> Huey is a dork. <laughs> the fact that he sits there every time he's in a social interaction with Starlight, he acts like a little girl. But like she he, likes it, which is weird. That's why I don't because have no respect she's for the him. boy. But she's not a boy. But make she's her, like the boy because she's the soup. Man, make that woman feel like a woman, Huey. <laughs> uh, he just gets like even in the back of the car with mother's milk. Like when a man's sitting there giving a sob story, you don't like you don't try to act like his mom. Oh, it's so sad that happened to you. Like just shut the shut up, Huey. That man don't want to hear your sob story. Uh, if you feel like I feel like the video, but if you think Huey could get a little tougher at this point, maybe by the end he'll be he'll be a gangster. But I'm telling you what, he I think, gets on my I think right he, now. we just he, have to have some type of good arc, and I feel like that's not really a good arc even, morally, but it will be. Even when they knocked on the door and that lady answered the door, like his, like I understand that she was a black lady and all, but your complete inability to talk to another human is just it baffles me. Like I can't stand yeah, just but, how shaky. But he what, is. Like, but I crazy. think that's funny about him. Like that's why I kind of like Huey's character because he's such a like a a nerd, a wimp. <laughs> like we just we just know he's gonna like just be goofy. I don't know. I just think that he should just man up, to it. <laughs> especially when it comes to Starlight. Just stop whimpering around her so much, dude. Either she likes you or she don't. Just be you, man up, and if she don't like you, then so be. Yeah, but I don't think that's a gripe of the show. I think it makes the show funny. I think it makes it funny, but I don't like his character. I think he needs to step it up a little bit. <laughs> that's just me, boys. Uh, awesome episode, fantastic episode. The show's only getting better for real. We have how many more? Four episodes left in the season. So four more episodes left in the season. And this junk is getting good, man. This is becoming... Honestly, this is crazy to say, but this might be the third best show we've ever seen at this point. <laughs> yeah. Because we haven't watched a lot of TV shows on our show, but this is definitely one of the best shows we've ever seen, like, for sure. It's really good, so... It's um, very unique, very different. I still, every time, feel unsure about what I'm watching. Yeah. Every time I start, I'm like, what are we watching? What is this? And I'm so tired of seeing sea critters get got. Like, I don't like that at all. It's a super, super... Well, the show is just weird. The show gaslights you a lot, too. So the show just does everything it can possibly do to, like, trigger you in a way or to make you annoyed. So <laughs> really good show, I guess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with some more, man. Hit us up on Patreon if you want to see, like, the authentic reaction, you know, that 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 uncut, that uncensored. 
Every and, time uh, a Homelander or Billy talks, basically. Basically, we don't have to see that. Yeah. <laughs> All, dude, we get to leave every fucking c in there. So, oh, stop. Sorry for cousin so much. Well, I'll bleep it. Oh, okay. <gasps> Not for Patreon. Sorry, I, I usually believe it. All right, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. For y'all realize, I'm a, I'm a damn, you're a, sa a sailor. He'll go places, y'all, and he'll walk in and say, "I'm a sailor." Like, are you kidding me? That's because we walk in the store and she's like, "Where's the damn milk?" No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. All right, guys, that was fun. We'll see y'all next. One.